Hello, my wonderful Scorpios. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be your general reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay. So we have the card peace, okay, um, connected, journey, balanced, clearing. So these messages actually have a shadow message as well. So let's dive into the guidebook to further clarify what's going on for you guys. Um, connected, journey, balanced, clearing, okay. So white is a core color to spirituality, including your connection to your guardian angels. When this card is upright, it indicates that your energy centers, sometimes referred to as chakras, are aligned and things are in flow. It suggests a healthy spiritual practice. So if it's upright, you've been doing spiritual work and it's clear for all to see. Okay, so some of you could be, um, you know, just feeling more emotionally balanced, you know, mentally, you could be working on your body as well. And you're aligned with, you know, what it is that you desire here. The uh, shadow message is, um, if this card is inverted, then it's clear that energetically things are not quite right. Maybe you've been overly focused upon your concerns for the material world, red chakra, therefore neglecting other energy centers like the heart. Um, so that's the green chakra. Perhaps your life has become so chaotic that your spiritual practices have become stale or even stalled completely. It's literally a call to self-care. One way you can use this card is to note which of the chakra centers your eyes are drawn to on the card. If you're not aware of what the chakras mean, here's a list. Okay, so the purple chakra they have, um, or it says spirituality, dark blue, psychic abilities and visions, light blue, communication and the truth, green, love and healing, yellow, power and control, orange, creativity, addictions and sexuality, red, money and security, recharge and get back in the game. Think of your consciousness as a computer with too many windows open. You need to unplug and reboot your system. Uh, color activation, white and black. These two colors represent all colors beautifully merged together. To find peace, we are reminded that we are connected to all things. Okay, so for... Some of you, you are feeling more balanced this week. I am reading for a lot of you, but the shadow message is if you're kind of feeling an imbalance, right? Maybe there's too much of a focus on one area of your life or one aspect of your life and you're kind of feeling all over the place due to that. Um, so it could be that you're clearing your energy or trying to, you know, um, center, you know, uh, so that you could feel more focused again. So there could be an area in your life that has been affecting you for quite some time here. And so it's about focusing on that, healing that, uh, you know, aspect or that thought even, right? Even if it's like um, your current circumstances or something that has recently happened to you, it's not to say that you're going to stop thinking about it overnight, but it's to acknowledge that and say, okay, well, I don't want all my attention going towards that or all my energy going towards that because it's making me feel powerless. So definitely about finding more balance, feeling more at peace, you know, energetically here and um, assessing your life and saying, what am I paying attention to? And what am I, uh, you know, neglecting at this time? Okay. So let's see what your financial message this week is. Honest work. It's okay to have a job that's not very glamorous. Get some experience to help you move up in the future. Success is a process, not a quick fix. Okay, so this is a very specific message. May not resonate with all of you, but maybe you are, you know, working a job that's not, that you're not proud of, or, or maybe a job that is not just, uh, or it's not about being proud of it, but maybe it's just not fulfilling for you. So this is about you gaining some sort of experience to help you, uh, you know, move up in the future, like it reads there, or it, it's to help you gain some sort of necessary knowledge, right? So even if it's not, um, a job that you're, you know, not proud of. It could be that you're working a job, but you're not proud of the position or you feel like you want a better position, but it could be that your current position could, could, uh, uh, teach you something or you could gain knowledge from it so that you could again elevate or, uh, you know, develop your further develop your, um, existing skills here. 
Okay, so some of you don't, maybe you're not happy with the space that you're in, but you are learning how to be in a better space or you are learning how to attain that position that you um, desire here is what's coming through for your financial message. Let's see. There's also something about needing to be patient with yourself. You know, um, it's almost like things are not going to, again, happen overnight. It says success is a process, not a quick fix. So maybe some of you have this goal and you're like, I wish I was already there or I wish I already, um, you know, uh, possessed that or had that. But it seems to me that, you know, the word patience is coming coming through very strongly here or needing to just um, trust, trust in the process. Like something may not be occurring for you as quickly as you want it to, but it doesn't mean that it's not going to occur at all. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, beautiful energy, and we have the Knight of Swords. I do feel like for some of you, it's about like clearly communicating what it is that you want. Like maybe some of you haven't been standing up for yourself or if this is like a job situation, a living situation, there's something that's on your mind um, that you know, you're being called to be open about. So like if it is a living situation, maybe you want, uh, you know, if you're living with a roommate and you want more financial assistance or you want, uh, maybe you're living with a partner, but you feel like you're carrying all the financial load. Like there's something here about you speaking up or needing to communicate what it is that's bothering you. And you would be surprised at some sort of assistance you would receive or just feeling understood by those around you. Okay. Seven of Wands, okay. Nine of Cups. The Emperor. The Star. The Page of Pentacles. The Sun, okay. The Fool. The Empress, beautiful. The Devil. And the Four of Pentacles. There's some sort of self-limiting beliefs that are keeping you stuck, Scorpio. That's what's going to be highlighted for you this week. With the Seven of Wands, it is about standing your ground, okay? Even during a time of adversity. There may be people around you that don't necessarily agree with your plans or, or maybe don't have the same vision as you, but it's not their job to understand, you know, your vision or what you want for yourself moving forward. With the Emperor and the Nine of Cups, I will say, guys, like you're very close to wish fulfillment or you're able to attain something that seems far-fetched but it may require you to release some sort of control because the control that you are uh, the control that you possess or being attached to an outcome is creating some sort of resistance when it comes to this goal that you desire so it's like for example if it's a financial goal um, maybe you want something to happen in a very specific way and it's not to say that it's not going to happen for you, like this goal that you have in mind, but it's not going to happen the way that you want it to. And the more that we attach to an outcome or the more that we, uh, you know, um, have some like a sense of um, control or want to be in control, it seems that we, we don't have control or things are not going our way. So there's something here very um, uh, persistent about releasing control or detaching from an outcome. And you will see that the energy kind of just flows. Okay, for some of you with the Emperor as well as the first card that you guys received here, it could be that there's too much of a focus when it comes to your material realm. And I understand that, you know, in today's world, finances are important and that sort of thing. But it's like when you it's like you're almost too, you know, maybe some of you are too focused on the material realm or too focused on your finances where you're neglecting other areas of your life. And it's almost like when you find that balance, you will also find that things are flowing to you in much more of a, um, or much more easily, I should say. And with the star card and as well as the sun card here, some of you may have Aquarian placements or um, Leo. We have Leo here with the sun card, but the star and the sun, very positive energy, guys. You even have the Empress and the Fool card. Like you're very close to a new beginning, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Um, a lot will be illuminated to you this week in terms of what makes you happy and what you need to do moving forward. Okay, so you could be receiving a lot of signs. 
Um, and with the star card, this could speak about fame or receiving some sort of recognition for uh, something that you do. So if you're not already in the public eye, this could be about getting an idea off the ground. For some of you, you are doing something where it requires you to be in the public eye, but you feel like you're not receiving the recognition that you feel like you're deserving of. So you feel like you're working day in and day out, but then you also feel like, you know, why am I not receiving the recognition or why am not why am I not where I want to be? Right. And so I know that sometimes that could feel a bit discouraging or it could feel very, you know, tedious to continue doing what you're doing. But it is about patience and persistence here. That's coming through very strongly for you guys this week. Um with the Page of Pentacles, I do see that this could be, um, you know, an offer coming your way. This could, this is also the student card. So for some of you, if you are wanting to see more progress or you're not happy with where you are when it comes to your finances or your business, for example, it could mean or, it, or the advice behind it could be, you know, um, attaining more uh, knowledge about a skill that you already have you know, um, there's always room for improvement. There's always something you could be learning. So even if you feel like you're skilled, maybe it's about learning how to, uh, you know, develop those skills, further develop those skills, or maybe you have the skill, but maybe your marketing could be better when it comes to your business, right? There's something about like expanding your knowledge and it's going to pay off for you in a very positive way. Um, I see that with the Page of Pentacles, you feel like you're in the early stages of something or you feel like you're kind of like dipping your toes in the water. But we do have the Empress there there as well, <clears throat> which speaks about a lot of growth, um, you know, a very abundant, you know, future here. Like there are very positive changes happening, but you don't see them this week or you haven't seen these changes in a very long time where some of you could be feeling a bit defeated or discouraged. So this may be a message coming in to tell you, hey, you know, you're very close to attaining what it is that you want, but there may be some sort of thinking pattern that you need to break free from because we also have the devil here. OK, and we have the four of pentacles, which speaks about feeling consumed by something. This could be a thinking pattern. This could be the way that you view yourself, something that was deeply embedded in you or taught to you as a child. OK, this could be a habit, an addiction, right? There's something here that you feel consumed by that's holding you back. And as, and when you release this, you're going to feel a lot more at ease. I don't think it's going to be easy for you to release because it's something that has been a pattern or something that you're very used to, but it's also creating uh, what may seem like a block, you know? Um, so if it's like the way that you view yourself, maybe the progress is, you know, slowing down or you're not where you want to be because you feel like you're not deserving of more. It's almost like you're asking for something here, Scorpio, but this week it's about making room for what you're asking for because you're totally deserving of what you're asking for, but you need to believe that. You know what I mean? You need to make room for that. So if there are self-limiting beliefs or uh, thoughts that make you feel restricted, it's like, okay, how do I heal that aspect? Or how, why do I think that way, right? Figuring out the whys or, or, or getting to the root of the issue here is mainly what I see. But I overall, I feel like with the sun card, the star card, the nine of cups, um, you are very close to wish fulfillment. I think the main message coming out for you guys this week is release, releasing control or letting go of something and letting go, I should say, of something that you feel very consumed by. So, you know, maybe saying, okay, this is, this is going to happen for me, right? I don't know how it is, but it is, you know, maybe I don't know how it is, or I need to release. Um, it's not going to happen in a, in a specific way that I want it to, but it's still going to come in for me. So that could be like a change of perspective that you're having. And as far as the devil and the four of pentacles, what are you thinking of right now that is placing some sort of um, a limits on where how far you can go in life what are you doing right now that you know does not serve you right so these are questions that you're going to be asking yourself this week so that you could um you know align and uh with your highest good but also just feel more balanced there's too much focus on one area in your life that's the reason why that card came out first and we're kind of having these cards like reiterate that message here so it's like um you know is it the fact that you are it's the way that you view yourself and maybe you're very focused on negative thoughts is it the fact that um you know you feel like um your past experiences are something that you're projecting onto the present is it a is it an uh you know an addiction a habit that you know you know is really draining you but you're having a 
hard time letting go of it. Because believe me, guys, like the devil could be something that's very difficult to let go of. But when you let go of it, you sense like this massive change. That's why you guys have this fool card, right? So with the fool card and the empress, there's you're going to get a glimpse this week of some sort of change or how life could be for you. But then with the four of pentacles and the devil, when you get this glimpse, it's up to you to say, okay, well, I'm ready to make this change. It's like you're receiving this, but it's going to require you to let go of something else. Okay. And again, guys, it doesn't have to be a thinking pattern. It could be a habit. Maybe it's your spending habits, right? It could be uh, the way that you speak to yourself, you know, and, and the thing here is guys, like, you know what it is, but it's about being honest with yourself. And even if it's not easy to let go of, it's like, okay, well, what can I do to kind of, uh, you know, ease into it? You know, if it's an addiction or a habit, it's like, okay, maybe I can't cut it off cold turkey, but how can I taper off of this, right? And I think those thoughts are going to be crossing your mind because you're realizing how something you're doing right now is hindering you more than it's helping you. So that's the message coming through for you guys. Um, let's see what your closing message is. True offering. True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love. Wow. Yeah, there's something here that like it's very persistent guys like something here you're having a very hard time detaching from letting go of um you know changing altering and i feel like you're going to um gain the strength to do so and and maybe for some of you it's about asking for assistance even if it's from divine or your belief system saying okay you know what i surrender right and when you ask for help and you're open to receiving it the process will feel a lot easier here Okay. I also feel like there's a, like this card speaks about having a very difficult decision that you're going through, or maybe it's your current circumstances, but, um, you know, feeling more at ease about it or something, you know, becoming more easier about the very situation. So if it's like heartbreak that you're going through, maybe it's about surrendering and you're going to find that, okay, now I am on the right path to heal this instead of just dwelling in it and, and, you know, losing myself in it or feeling consumed by it. So I see almost like a difficult situation turning into something positive for you, but it starts with, with you, uh, Scorpio. And, and it starts with you saying, Hey, you know what? This is no longer working, or I know that I could do better, or I know that I could, um, I would be better without this very thing, or maybe even without this very person in some circumstances here. Okay. So my wonderful Scorpios, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.